Say no photo, mother. I know, cause I don't take pictures. I make vectors, 100% gradient mesh. Now that that's off my chest. YouTube, what's up? This Frank, another Vector Wednesday, showing my layers, not for the naysayers. I'm showing my layers for the ones that want to wanna learn the process and just how it goes. So, just saw the eyeballs, like I always, I do those first. Then I did the, the left eye section with the, the eye white and the eyelashes. Then I did the section below that. Uh... Same technique, I mean, but went a little more detail. I mean, I had a had some textures I wanted to pick up. And speaking of textures, remember my video from the uh, Freckles gra uh, gradient mesh, detail gradient mesh, where I, I, I showed you how to create detail skin textures. Just the same process. I mean, it's on my YouTube page. Also, just go look and find the, how to create skin textures with Illustrator and you'll see it's, it's the same thing I'm doing here it's just there was this was the freckles one was my first one and this is like my fifth so I mean you learn as you go you progress and you get better you learn from your mistakes and I had a bunch of mistakes on my first one and I try to always learn from what I what I do wrong well, what I don't do right, so I don't. Nobody will get it on the first try. You won't get it on your fifteenth or fiftieth try, but just keep working and keep practicing. This technique of detail gradient mesh will come a part of you, and it will be easier as you go along. So, guys, just keep working, man. Get the work ethic up if you want to learn. I mean, because that's the only way it will happen. I mean, I, I I put in countless amount of hours doing this stuff, so practicing or whatever. I throw more work away than I post on DeviantArt, just to let you know. All right, but back to where we were at. Now, this is the lower jaw. You see, uh, part of it, I have, like, the crease from the mouth on here also. So, I mean, I have to, you have to blend these sections. I mean... I usually do my blending towards the end or sometimes I do it as we go along as I go along I mean whatever just makes it easier and I'm showing you the outline showing you that it is a vector 150 hours worth of vector at that but I enjoyed doing it I mean it was a challenge I mean I, I, I bumped into things that I ran into problems that I didn't expect and also, when I first started this, uh, you see how the head is tilted? I had to take the original photo and straighten it because for some reason my brain won't allow me to work at angles on faces. I can work at angles on anything else, but faces, I have to have them vertical. I have just straight up and down. I don't know what that problem is, like a brain malfunction, but I need to probably need to go get an MRI and get that checked out. But uh, that's crazy. I don't know why. Because normally when I look at shapes, I look at the the negative space of shapes. But with faces, I, I got to have them up and down. No angles. But I tilted it when I completed the face. I tilted the image and what I meshed so at that point. But it worked out. I mean, everything I got, the details I wanted to get. I got the angles I wanted to get. And I got the hair. I got it how, well, it was good enough. Pause it for a second so you can just see what we got so far. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. That's my Larry David impression. Curb Your Enthusiasm, HBO. It's a funny show. Now you see this uh, brown line around her shoulder. The reason it's there, it wasn't there when I initially meshed it. Uh, I went back. And when it was time to do the background, it wasn't blending correctly. So 
I had to add this line to help it help the blending process. I mean, you see it on the shoulder, but you don't see it on the ear. I want the shoulder to blend in with the background. I mean, because it is slightly blurred, and I wanted the ear to stand out. So this is the effect I had to go for. I mean, I went with. So the shoulder in the body and the other shoulder also, they both blend with the background and the ear stands out. And that's how you create depth of feel with the gradient mesh. Just different techniques. This is my technique of doing that, but it worked out. I tried different ways of doing it, but this gave me the best results. So where are we? I just did the eyelashes and now I'm bringing in the hair fixes. These are the strokes, the vector strokes that I use. And they're coming in one above the ear and some on the right side by the hand. And this is the outline of basic, the finished piece for the most part. And this is the finished piece without the background. I'm bringing in the left side first and then the right side. But while that's doing that, Thank you guys for the Daily Deviant. I appreciate it. The suggestors and the person that featured me. I appreciate all you guys, all the viewers, all the support. Thank you all. And if you want to contact me, hit me up in the comment section. Send me a private message on YouTube. Or hit me up on DeviantArt. I have the DeviantArt link in the description. So thank you all for the support. Thank you for viewing. And until next time, like always, peace.